In the most recent update, they have increased the health in Rebirth. It is now 300 instead of 250, which is the equivalent of an extra shield. With that being said, the time to kill is completely different and the meta has had a shift. I always try and make my videos fluff free, BS free and just get straight to the point so you guys can get all the information as fast as you can so let's get straight into it. The first weapon in this video is going to be the Vargo 52. This has had a buff in the most recent update and it already was one of the best assault rifles so it is even better in the update. So the first attachment you guys are going to want to use is the Gru Suppressor for the accuracy and range and then we're going to be using the Task Force Barrel for the accuracy and range again. These two are both going to increase the recoil control and just increase the range overall. Spetness Grip for the increased recoil again, 60 round magazine and in the axle three times. This is one of the best assault rifles, definitely start using it. The next weapon is the MP40. This is still king and it has been for a very long time. Now, before we get into the loadout, if you guys want to see more, make sure to hit that sub button, turn those notifications on and drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. So the first attachment is going to be the recoil booster, increasing the fire rate. And then we're going to be using the short barrel, which increases the limb damage and the damage range, which is great. We're then going to be using the ISO 1M optic. This is just my favorite optic. It's super clean, but you can use whatever optic you want. And then the folding stock for the mobility, sprint speed, etc. Attachment you guys are going to want to use is the hand stop under barrel, increasing the recoil control and accuracy. And then the 45 round magazine, increasing the fire rate, ADS movement speed, and recoil control. This is definitely by far the best magazine. The lengthened ammo type. And then stippled grip tape for the recoil control, perfectionist for the recoil control, or you can use momentum to have a little bit of more mobility instead. And then you guys are going to want to use quick for the sprint speed, and that is the full loadout. Next SMG in the video is the Sten. This is a super good SMG after the most recent update. It has had a buff in the last, like, in one of the other updates. It didn't get a buff in this update, but it had a buff in the other updates, and since then, it's really, really good. So we have the recoil booster, increasing the fire rate with the rapid barrel, also increasing the fire rate. We're then going to be using this optic, but you can use whatever optic you want to. This is just super clean, and it increases the ADS, which is another bonus. The power stock, increasing the movement speed and mobility, and then we have the hand stop under barrel for the recoil control. You then are going to want to use the 50 round magazine, with the lengthened ammo type and for the rear grip we have stipple grip tape for the accuracy with acrobatic and quick as the perks for the movement speed and mobility. Alright the next one is the BAR. This is an incredible assault rifle. I don't know why more people aren't talking about it but there's a hidden attachment on this weapon that makes it extremely good. So the attachments are the MX silencer, which are going to increase the accuracy and range. XL barrel for the range, any optic of your choice, I'm going to stick this one on. With the chariot stock, increasing the accuracy. For the under barrel, we're going to be using the hand stop under barrel for the accuracy. And then the secret magazine, the secret attachment is this one right here. It increases the recoil control and accuracy, making this thing super accurate. And it increases the fire rate as well. And it also just makes the weapon have a better time to kill. And it just, it makes it super easy to use and so definitely stick it on. Lengthened ammo type with the polymer grip. And then we're going to be using hard scope for the accuracy and fully loaded. That is the full loadout. Let's get straight on to the next one, which is going to be the UGR. This is a really good SMG, but before the update, it only had like a 30 round magazine, I think it was, or it might have been smaller, which is just too small. But in the most recent update, they've actually buffed the magazine and it now has a 40 round magazine instead. So you guys are going to want to use the Gru Suppressor for the accuracy, the Task Force Barrel. And then we're going to be going for the Skeletal Stock with the Serpent Wrap and then the Tiger Team Spotlight. Or if you want to, the Iron Sights are kind of okay on this weapon, but you could take the, iron, the laser off and stick on the Microflex LED instead, just for some cleaner Iron Sights. But yeah, that is the full loadout. Next one in the list is the Lapper, the Lapper Slapper, as I like to call it. This is a really, really good SMG at the moment. First attachment is the Agency Suppressor, which increases the accuracy. And then you guys are going to want the Rifled Barrel, increasing the fire rate and the damage, which is a really, really good attachment. The Raider Stock for the mobility with the 50 round magazine. And then this is like a must have. Make sure to stick on the Microflex LED because the iron sights on this weapon are just disgusting. So... Make sure to stick this on if you guys actually want to be able to see. And by far one of the best SMGs in the 
Last update, it did get a buff, and it's just a really good SMG at the moment. We use the recoil booster for the fire rate with the short barrel for the fire rate as as well, and then the folding stock for the hip fire accuracy, ADS, and the sprint speed. Really, really good attachment. Or you can use the removed stock for even more mobility but less accuracy. It's up to you which one you go for. For the optic, you can use whatever optic you want to. For this specific weapon, I like to use the slate reflector. And then we're going to be going for the hand stop underbarrel for the recoil control with the 40 round magazine for the recoil control, fire rate and movement speed with the lengthened ammo type as always. And then we're going to be going for the stiffle grip tape with acrobatic and quick and that is the full loadout. This is a really, really quick class at the moment. Very good time to kill as well. Definitely give it a go. Next up, we have the Armaguero, which is definitely a top tier SMG in the game at the moment. Make sure to use this as soon as possible. I do feel like it might get a nerf in one of the updates to come. So, you want to stick on the recoil booster. Surprise, surprise, pretty much every single Vanguard SMG has the recoil booster on it. You then want to use the body uh, barrel, which is going to increase the damage. Then we're going to be going for the body stock which is also going to increase the recoil control making this thing incredibly accurate literally it makes it so accurate slate reflector but you can use whatever optic you want then the skeletal underbarrel which is going to increase the mobility and ads the 60 round magazine with lengthened and then we're going to be going for the fabric grip for the mobility perk one is going to be hard scope and then perk two is going to be quick Super accurate, super good time to kill, all around one of the best SMGs. Okay, so the next weapon is the Automaton. Once again, this thing hasn't been changed in the update, but it's just one of those weapons that's like an old reliable. It's so, so good. It still is good. So the MX Silencer for the accuracy. Then we're going to be using the BFA Barrel for the accuracy as well. 2.5 times optic. You can use whatever optic you want to, as always. The padded stock increasing the recoil control and the hand stop under barrel. The 75 round magazine with lengthened and then for the rear grip you guys are going to want to use the polymer grip and then for the perk one tight grip perk two is going to be fully loaded pretty much every single one of these attachments increase the accuracy this thing is a laser beam let's get into the next one which is the cooper carbine this is going to be the final weapon in the video let's get straight into the class i recommend using this as an smg so the first attachment is the recoil booster for the fire rate and then the short barrel making it more of an smg for the stock you guys are going to want to use the remove stock and then any optic of your choice hand stop under barrel because it will have a bit of recoil so this is going to help control it the 60 round magazine for the accuracy fire rate and ads lengthened ammo type as always on every single vanguard weapon the lengthened ammo type is pretty much the best on every single weapon then we're going to be using the stipple grip tape for the accuracy, tight grip for the accuracy, and then fully loaded. This is a really, really good SMG build. Make sure to give it a go, and that is the end of the video. Now, if you made it this far, I am doing a 90k giveaway. Whenever I hit 90k subs, I'm doing a 5,000 call point giveaway. So to enter, just subscribe and comment down below saying you want to enter. And that is it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.